Three Point Grange with Michael Grange as we move ever closer, Michael, to the teams arriving within the bubble down in Florida. Some teams have chosen to close down their facilities after positive tests. And even though we're very close to everybody leaving town, has this changed the landscape at all? Does it provide any advantage or disadvantage to teams involved and teams that are not involved in that kind of situation? Well, I think, first of all, league-wide, um, it's probably a good thing that these tests have, have come out and teams have been very proactive in terms of responding to them. And it's, you know, le- you know among all the players tested, we're still about the 3% players and staff. So you have seven teams that shut down before they went down to Orlando. And I don't think it creates any specific technical competitive advantage or disadvantage. Um, these players have all been doing a lot of individual work. They haven't been doing team work. And they won't start doing that until they're in the bubble and through quarantine there. But I think maybe what it does do for teams that haven't shut down or a team like the Raptors that kind of went into their pre-bubble bubble is it builds a little bit of belief among that group that they're doing the right things and that, uh, you know, their program is working and, and can continue uninterrupted and ease that anxiety. What really that translates into as an advantage, it's probably very minimal, but it's better than the alternative. Things we take for granted as sports fans, uh, seeing a player just working out, shooting jump shots, suddenly these are exciting to get these images from Florida of the Raptors. The other thing is Nick Nurse mentioned, you couldn't believe the shape these guys are in, and just watching them shoot and watching their excitement to get back at it. The Raptors seem to be in a really good place. They do, and I think there's some really evident examples of that. I mean, Marc Gasol took this time, um, which he hasn't had, right? He's played internationally almost every summer. So he's finally had about a four-month period where he could just work on his, on his body, work on his health, work on his diet, and you see the results. He looks incredible. Kyle Lowry, another example. And, and you wonder, well, why is that? Well, I would je- guess it's, it's kind of – there's two things going on here. One, these players as a group won very recently. They know how fun it is. They understand what it's worth. They believe that what you put into it is – will translate into what you get. But two, there's an urgency going on. You've got Lowry, Gasol, Serge Ibaka, even Fred Van Vliet, the youngest veteran alive, uh, going into either free agency or in Lowry's case, uh, an option year on his deal. And they know you do not get these many chances uh, to win an NBA title. They've all been with other programs that were good teams, couldn't get over the hump. Fred Van Vliet, the exception. So I think they're, they're, there's a rallying cry there and a real passion to take advantage of this situation. Well, over a year ago, the horrific injury of Victor Oladipo came against the Toronto Raptors. He's been back and was back about six weeks before the shutdown, but now said he will not play. Nothing to do with the coronavirus. He's going to travel with the team. It's all about the risk of uh, re-injuring himself. That changes the landscape, perhaps, for the Raptors and other teams in the East. A little bit. I mean, the the Pacers are in that kind of quiet, maybe sleeper, contender category, good team sixth in the East. And that's, of course, most of that year playing without their best player in Victor Oladipo. Um, Very curious to me that he is deciding not to play. I mean, he came back, played 13 games. At the end of that stretch, was playing, you know, showing some signs of returning to all-star type level. Um, And then when the announcement of the injury, it didn't come from the team first. It came from the player with, uh, you know, his trainer pledging about how fit he was. And you just wonder if, if you look back to before he blew out his quadriceps tendon, he had knee, knee soreness. The team cleared him, comes back, plays, blows out his knee. And you just wonder if there's a little bit of tension beneath the surface there, or maybe a, a breakdown in trust, because this is a player with a year left on his deal. He should be a leader for that franchise. He should be playing. There's a, there's a month before they have to play five on five. There's six weeks to seven weeks before a playoff game. To me, it's very odd. Um, that he is not uh, has decided not to play, and it's maybe a story worth following going forward. Yeah, indeed, a kind of a, a mini training camp feel leading up here. There will be stories that we don't see otherwise in this odd season. It's Michael Grange, Sportsnet.ca.